Hey yo, what's up my little poders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the lead code question 647, palindromic substrings. Basically, given a string, we need to count how many palindromic substrings there are in this string. And the thing is, if you consider this input string, for example, there are six palindromic substrings. And as you can see, there are some duplicates, for example, A, A, and A. And basically, if this polyndromic substring comes from the different index, it's considered as a separate substring. Um, same for this double A. So here's one double A, and there's, and there's another double A as well. And the last one, 3A, is basically the whole string itself is also a polyndrome. So we need to return six in the end. Okay, let me just quickly code it, and I will go through everything with you in a few seconds. Okay, okay, guys, so this is all the code which we need to write. And now let me just quickly go through everything and explain you step by step uh, what we did and why it works. So basically to store our result, uh, we declared a variable here. So outside the methods. And after that, uh, we are iterating through every single index of the input string from zero until the end. And here you can see that we are calling the same method twice. However, a uh, second time we are calling it with this slightly updated variable. The reason for that is that the palindrome uh, string can be made from the odd amount of characters and else it can be made from the even am amount of characters. For example, ABA is, the, is one palindrome. However, it can, for example, be um, a, B, B, A. That's why we slightly need to update uh, the the end variable, which basically points to the end of the current substring. And also there is the start, which points to the start. And obviously we need to pass the input string itself. We pass the whole string and we just pass another two pointers. And let's just consider the same input string as they give an example. So we start with the i is equal to zero, right? And we call we call this method, right? Start is zero, end is also zero. Let's check if we will go inside the while loop. So start is greater or equal to zero, that's correct. And is less than the length of the string, that's also correct. And the character which points, uh, which is at index start, is exactly the same as the character which is at index end, because you know they have the same indexes, so they point to exactly the same character right now. So we are going inside the while loop. It means that we found our first palindrome, which is just a single letter A. So we update our result value, but after that we <laughs> decrement the start and increment the end. So start is minus one, end is one right now. Basically, we kind of expand from the center of where we are at the moment. And on the first expansion, we will break here and we will not go on the second to the second iteration of the while loop. So uh, after that, yeah, this method terminates and we are moving to this one. Um, and now we will consider two characters, A and A, because as I said, the palindrome can consist of uh, even amount of characters as well. And in this case, these two characters are the same. So we'll go inside the while loop, we update the result. And uh, after that, we update the start and end. And yeah, these conditions will not match anymore. So we will not go on a second iteration of the while loop. And after that, we will increment the i. So i will point right now. So the start will point to the middle character. And on this call, the end will point to the same one. So again, we extract the single character palindrome, update uh, the start and end indexes, and now they became, become, uh, and now we can basically expand from the center. So we will, from here, start will point here and end will point here. So we will extract the whole string itself because it's also a palindrome. And after that, yeah, we'll update this values again and we will be out of bonds. So we will terminate, uh, we'll go here. So start points to this A, 
and we'll point to this A. We will extract this palindrome, double A. After that, we'll update the values, we'll be out of bonds, so we'll terminate. We'll go on next iteration when I will be equal to 2. So, which is this single character, we will extract it. <coughs> Once we update the values, we will terminate and we'll go on the next iteration. But, you know, if we do i plus 1, which will be equal to 3, this condition will not match, it will not work, and we will be out of bonds. And basically, yeah, by this moment, we found all the palindromes and we just will return them in the end. Simply as that, guys. I hope that it was very clear. Um, yeah, guys, I think that's it for this tutorial. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and guys, challenge your friends to see if they can solve this question or not. And I will see you in the next video. But before that, let me just submit and see what's the score. And the score is very good. So now I can say goodbye to you and enjoy your day.